This presentation will discuss coolant, checking coolant health, repairing a system with a coolant issue, and explaining the best ways to keep diesel customers' coolant systems in top condition. Many people refer to coolant as antifreeze, but coolant does more than prevent a cooling system from freezing. It also raises the boiling point of the cooling system to provide protection in extreme heat. And it contains corrosion inhibitors to protect the engine from internal corrosion. When vehicles leave the factory, they're filled with a mix of coolant and purified water that will last a long time, if it's properly maintained. Traditionally, most inspections of the cooling system have involved checking the freeze point of the coolant making sure that no leaks are present, and ensuring the degas bottle or radiator cap is tightened down. The impurities in the water can lead to scaling, potentially causing a loss of flow in critical components such as the oil and EGR coolers, an inability to correctly reject heat, and eventually cause an engine breakdown. A degas bottle cap that is incorrectly tightened or doesn't seal properly can lead to coolant issues because the system doesn't hold pressure, causing the coolant to lose its corrosion protection properties when overheated. In a recent update to the workshop manuals, Ford introduced a simple tool to test the corrosion protection levels of coolant. It's quick, easy to use, and very accurate. Part of the coolant test is to make sure that the coolant in the engine is the right color. Coolants are generally colored according to the corrosion inhibitor they use. If coolants are mixed, it can result in a loss of corrosion inhibition. This most frequently occurs when customers add the wrong coolant or stop leak to the system. Before you may properly judge whether or not the engine coolant is the right color, you should know what it's supposed to look like. VC8 is a blue colored liquid. Premium gold coolant, when mixed in a 50-50 proportion, is a light yellow color. VC8, mixed in the recommended proportion with premium gold coolant, will be turquoise or light green in color. Compared side by side, it's easy to see the color differences between these three solutions. If you see that the wrong coolant or stop leak has been added to the system, or if you find oil in the coolant, it's important to chemically clean out the cooling system. We'll show you how to do that later in the presentation. If the coolant color is correct, use Rotunda tool number 328-00001 to measure the nitrite level of the coolant, a key corrosion inhibitor. If the nitrite level tests above 800 parts per million, no action is required. If the level is between 300 and 800 parts per million, then adding two bottles of VC8 will correct the nitrite level. When the nitrite level reads below 300 parts per million, indicating that the coolant system has degraded beyond acceptable levels, you need to chemically clean the cooling system using VC9. A chemical flush with VC9 can reverse any of the potential issues that may have been created by the degraded or contaminated coolant. VC9 is a special chemical which removes scale, rust, silicates, and other contaminants from the cooling system and conditions the cooling system surfaces to allow the corrosion inhibitors to work as intended. When you see oil in the degas bottle, remove the oil from the cooling system in addition to repairing the area of the engine where the cross-contamination occurred. Ford Motor Company recommends that Simple Green HD is used to remove oil contaminating the cooling system. In an oil-contaminated system, drain the system of coolant and flush as much of the waste out of the engine as possible. For demonstration purposes, we're using a 6.4 liter truck. Always refer to the current published service information for specific direction on 6 liter or 6.4 liter applications. Remove the thermostat to enable the detergent to flow through the radiator, add Simple Green HD, and top off the system with water. Run the engine for an hour on IDS to create circulation and agitation of the detergent with the oil.
It's like cleaning dirty engine oil from your hands. You use a good detergent to emulsify the oil and rub your hands vigorously to get the detergent and the oil to combine. If you don't get your hands clean the first time, you wash them again and again until they're clean, just as may be required with a heavily oil contaminated cooling system. As you can see, we haven't emulsified all of the oil, but the detergent has absorbed a considerable amount of it. However, testing by Ford has determined that it's necessary to flush the cooling system three times to remove enough of the contaminants, 98% of them, for VC9 to do its job. So, for the second time, add Simple Green HD to the degas bottle, top off the system with water, and run the engine for another hour. Drain the system again and inspect the flushed mixture. Although the engine has been run twice with detergent and the cooling system is looking noticeably cleaner, we still need to flush the cooling system a third time to be sure that we've removed enough of the contaminants. So add Simple Green HD, top off the system with water, and run the engine for another hour. Drain the system once again and inspect the flushed mixture. At this point, the engine has been run three times with detergent and the cooling system is looking good. Now that we have less than 2% oil in the system, we know VC9 will be able to condition the internal surfaces of the engine cooling system and maximize the life of the new coolant. The inhibitors in Motorcraft Premium Gold coolant chemically attach themselves to the surfaces they flow over, and as the engine heats up and cools, runs and vibrates, the chemicals are used in minute amounts. Ford Motor Company has tested a number of the most popular chemical flushing brands and found in many cases that they didn't work as well as claimed or caused issues such as gelling in the cooling system. When new coolant is put into an unprepared used engine, the coolant system surfaces may be corroded or microscopic cracks may be present. These conditions use the inhibitor at a higher rate than a prepared surface. Research and testing has verified that the VC9 procedure works on a microscopic level. Using VC9 will restore the surfaces that the coolant flows through, preserve the corrosion inhibitor, and give the coolant the best chance possible to protect the engine. Ford has issued procedures in TSB and workshop manual form explaining the use of VC9. As VC9 cleans the iron surface, it will look almost like a cola in color. It's very important to flush out and neutralize all of the chemicals at the end of the flushing process. Failure to do so will compromise the coolant inhibitor strength, and as we said previously, that's less than desirable. So flush the VC9 out of the system until the water runs clear. It's a good practice to use a clean jar to sample the water being drained to make sure it really is as clear as you think. You can see by the yellow color of the water that there's still more flushing to be done. Once the water is clear, you're ready to rinse the system with low mineral water, reassemble the truck, and add the coolant. One of the issues we've seen in the field is workshop water quality when flushing. Water in many areas of the country is very hard, which causes scaling. We also know that some water sources can have the wrong pH level and others can have high levels of chloride. Many dealers have recognized that this can be a problem in their new vehicle prep areas and have installed deionizing or reverse osmosis water systems to solve the problem. Using these types of water sources for flushing is very helpful in returning a healthy cooling system to your customers. To determine if your water source has the correct pH, hardness, and chloride level for use in a cooling system, use Rotunda part number 328-00007 to test the water. If you find an issue with the water you're using, you should use the deionized or reverse osmosis water from another area of your dealer's facility. If that's not a possibility, your service manager can buy drums or jugs of water that are to specification and use that water for the coolant system flush. Now fill the engine with the specified quality of water, taking steps to ensure that the cooling system and engine are completely filled with clean water. 
This will improve the neutralization of the chemicals and remove the possibility of recalcifying surfaces of critical components like the oil cooler. Next, drain the cooling system once again, reassemble the truck, and fill the cooling system with Motorcraft Premium Gold coolant. It's very important to use a hydrometer or refractometer to make sure the coolant is in the correct concentration, 50% distilled water and 50% coolant for most areas, and higher coolant to water ratios for extremes of climate like Alaska and northern Canada. If you're making a repair to a major component in the truck's cooling system, you should also chemically flush the system and use new coolant as part of the repair. Refer to current published service information for details specific to the repair. You should also make sure that you use the correct specification coolant, only dilute it with distilled water, and verify that the degas bottle cap can hold pressure. Before the truck has left the shop, it's a really good idea for the service advisor to help the customer understand the importance of cooling system maintenance and the part they play in keeping their truck reliable.